I think at the minute there are limitations to what we can do. I think those limitations are getting less and less and we're heading to a place where there really won't be any limitations. You know, if you can design and build it in the computer, you can throw it up on a virtual set and be in that space. The F-150 Lightning is a groundbreaking new electric truck. There's nothing like it on the market today. We really wanted to blow this thing out on May 19th. When Ford first spoke to us about this reveal, we had two main challenges. The first was how to showcase the incredible capability of this vehicle in a number of environments and scenarios. And the second was how to do it in an unbelievably challenging time frame. Given the confidentiality of an embargoed product launch, it's always difficult to take the car out into the real world to show its product features. And so what we've done here is bring the real world to the car using Unreal Engine to create virtual environments that are photo real. With the technology so much in its infancy, we knew we needed to partner with the best in the business. And the obvious choice for us was the mill. The beauty of virtual production is that what you see is what you get on the stage. In order to walk away with final pixels on set and not have to do lots and lots of post-production, we need to be creating these scenes up front. So these are all built using our traditional CG pipeline, but also pulling those assets into Unreal Engine. Pre-production has changed a whole lot in this world. It's really, really different. It's no longer a green screen. and We don't know what's back there. We're going to fix it in post. We've designed it, we've agreed on it, we've approved it, and we're now shooting it. We knew we had a responsibility with this production to create real life scenarios showing real life capabilities with the real truck, but in a virtual environment that we could control. By being in XR, we get to do things that we could never do before. So today, we're working on a house under construction, and in a half an hour, we can shoot it completed. Not only can we shoot in one location in the morning and an hour later, move around the world, but we're able to safely access roads that we can't normally drive on. But again, the key thing is that, you know, you're not chasing the sunset. You're in magic hour all day. For me, as a person that shoots lots of cars, I know I always have a window of two hours in the morning and two hours at the end of the day, whereas now I can be in here and kind of shoot until we're dead and we're ready to go home. It's very effective and very efficient. If you have variety of content you need to shoot, virtual production is going to be essential. And going forward, it's only getting better, faster and more seamless.